Electronic vehicles are gaining popularity day by day and all automobile manufacturers have introduced their new products. Now, the Japanese car maker Toyota has recently announced 30 electric vehicles, including concepts and prototypes. The Japanese car maker showcased its future strategy as well as introduced a number of electric crossovers, electric SUVs, electric concepts, electric pickup trucks, and even electric sports cars. In this video, we're going to talk about that Toyota's hydrogen car shocks the car industry. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Toyota hopes to make up lost ground by debuting its first full electric vehicle, touting a range approaching that offered by Tesla. The sport utility vehicle BZ4X will provide a range of about 500 km for the front-wheel drive version and 460 km for the all-wheel drive option. These distances would place Toyota's offering behind Tesla's Model 3, which sports a range of 560 km, as well as Nissan Motors' Aria and Volkswagen's ID3. But a member of Toyota's development team emphasized the vehicle's long battery life and reliable control system, saying the company differentiates its model from others now on the market through technologies and know-how built over many years of expertise in electrified vehicles. The all-electric Tesla has a rear motor and rear-wheel drive dual-motor all-wheel drive system that pairs with a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Power is stored in lithium-ion batteries to generate power. Depending on the trim, the 2021 Tesla Model 3 has a driving range between 263 miles and 353 miles per charge, revealing a bold strategy for the two firms to sell some 3.5 million battery electric cars by 2030. Akio Toyota, Toyota CEO, explained that, We need to reduce emissions as much as possible, as soon as possible, and the brand will expand options for carbon-neutral vehicles, which run on clean energy. A significant volume is what we're talking about here, he said. The company has increased its investment in battery development by 500 billion yen, 3.3 billion pounds, to 2 trillion yen, 13.3 billion pounds. He highlighted the disparity between carbon neutral and carbon reducing vehicles, emphasizing that the source of the energy used to run the company's EVs is one of the most important factors in the strategy. Toyota and Lexus, he said, will achieve carbon neutrality by 2035. Toyota announced the billion-dollar founding of its research institute in 2015 and soon afterward declared itself to be in the mobility business before the M-word. Predictability for a company based in aging, shrinking Japan, Toyota's mobility vision is focused on the needs of people as they age. Pratt thinks that will increasingly merge with the company's dual vision of autonomy, guardian driver assistance, and chauffeur full autonomy in the long term. The merger may kick off another virtuous cycle. Driver assist might reduce accidents enough that cars can be safely made much lighter, amplifying the benefits of any electric strategy. We can make the quality of life of people of any age and any ability much, much better. Toyota said that this model is destined to become Toyota's greatest commercial asset. He introduced the electric compact SUV as a small battery-powered electric vehicle with a comfortable interior design with Europe and Japan in mind. The future Toyota compact electric SUV will be the most efficient in the segment, the Toyota BZ Electric Compact SUV is aimed to offer low power consumption of 12.5 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers, which is close to the consumption of electric cars like the JAC, EJS1, and the Renault Zoe. The executive also said the more batteries that are added to extend the range, the bigger, heavier, and more expensive a vehicle becomes. Since this SUV is a small vehicle, there's something we need to be thorough and very quirky, and that's energy efficiency. Toyota BZ4X hitting markets worldwide in mid-2022 will feature a 71.4 kWh battery with a capacity retention target of 90% after 10 years. This will be possible with a system monitoring the battery's voltage and temperature to detect signs of overheating. The SUV rolls off a new platform, Toyota's first dedicated to battery electric vehicles, and developed jointly with compatriot Subaru. The platform marries the partner's four-wheel drive expertise and Toyota's connectivity technology. Fast charging of 150 kilowatt will enable an 80% recharge in 30 minutes. An optional rooftop solar panel can generate enough power for an additional range of 1,800 kilometers a year and serve as a source of energy outdoors and in emergencies. The vehicle is also Toyota's first to feature steer by wire technology, meaning the steering wheel and tires are not physically connected but use electric control systems, as well as the e-axle and integrated motor and an inverter drive system. As with its position on vehicle autonomy, Toyota is something of a centrist when it comes to vehicle electrification, in spite of arguably doing the most to popularize electrification with a hybrid Prius line. We all tend to latch on to whatever the newest thing is, says Pratt, but we're gonna see other types of vehicles in the future. For people who are near sufficient charging infrastructure or who hang onto their car for 12 years or more. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 